Hello everyone, welcome back to Skin Tech and Appliances. In this video, I'm going to give you a review of a Tower Vision Air Fryer. I got this at the um, about the 11th of January this year, and I've like everyone's been raving about air fryers and how they're like like the pinnacle of like cooking now, and, like obviously energy saving, blah blah blah. I'm all risk a bit, and obviously here I do have my um, halogen oven which I have used and I still greatly use this as well but I, um, more more for the bulkiest stuff really um, rather than just um, thinking yeah do excuse all my cleaning do excuse <laughs> and obviously my mess yeah so I do use this quite a lot so say cooking chickens cooking beef um, well actually I slow cook my beef and then I obviously have got a leg of lamb coming soon and obviously I'll be cooking that and see how that will actually fit in the halogen but there we go so back to this then so so what do I like and what don't I like about this air fryer so the one thing I do like is these two compartments yes I opted for an 11 litre but obviously this is split into five and a half litre capacities. Um, because the one good thing I do like is I can cook something different in either one, different temperatures and different times. And obviously, let me just quickly show you because this has been is an absolute godsend. So if you put something in here that needs to cook longer for that one, but you want it to finish at the same time, you set everything on here, your A, your B, obviously you've got temperature and your timer, and then literally it just it does get to work. Um, I haven't really used many of the other features of this, actually. Um, light I probably have briefly. Um, keep warm I haven't. Uh, reheat I haven't really done anything because I used my microwave for that sorry about my mess and I the only other kind of food function I have used on this is the toast function or the bread so but what I found is that it will do brown one side but it seems to kind of not do the underside Despite air fry, you'd think it would do both, um, both the top and the bottom. But no, you kind of have to put that in for about, um, you'd have to push that and then do it again. Like I say, it is only a five minute um, like duration, so you'd have to put it in for another five minutes. And obviously, the, the, under, the other side that you've done won't brown off anymore anyway, so you're just browning two sides so basically it's 10 minutes so not ideal for you doing um bread in this one unless you fancy doing it this way i have no idea um but yeah not ideal because it just doesn't do the underside um really what i tend to do with my other foods it's like they've got the fries button here and obviously it's got 18 minutes i should really use that one actually because I do chips in here and it does actually get them nice and crispy so I'm gonna like trial um, with this anyway and like see what that's like the whole chicken feature um, it's got 30 minutes I'm hoping that's not for a whole chicken because I don't think you're gonna actually fit that inside and apologies for the actual cleanliness i do try to clean this as often as i can but it can't be helped when you're regularly using it so yeah just a regular wipe don't don't forget to say yeah, i'm not that bad with the cleaning i just apologize that say probably oh yeah this one this one's not so bad but still need to clean so if you are going to buy something like this you're going to have to regularly clean this um, so keeping the doors open, I do like the fact that you do have like two levels in here. Yes, you do have the drip tray, which is almost like a very like a very miniature version of a um, roasting tray, which I am going to be tempted to get myself and just use it as a roasting tray. And um, 
and obviously, yeah, see see what it's like to actually use a roasting tray and not actually use it as a drip tray. So, yeah. Um, all in all, as I say, the actual oven itself, the air fryer, I can't say oven. <laughs> uh, the air fryer itself is actually very, very good. Um, I did have a comment saying, uh, is it good for a family? I would say yes and I would say no. Because of the small compartments, it just depends on what you're cooking. If you're going to be cooking for a lot, if you're going to do fish and chips, I would say you may get away with it if you're going to have a, like a couple, maybe like a family of three, if you have like a, chi um, a child. Um, but a family of four, I would actually recommend getting the actual 11 litre all in one. Obviously not the dual compartment. It's. I think it can be difficult. I mean, if you had something like, I see the halogen oven, which I just mentioned here, then then you could do something in there, do something in there. Um, but yeah, it's it's a little bit difficult. I mean, it's, it's ideal for one couple, one person or a couple. But yeah, um, that's kind of what I would recommend this for. But anyways, I'd still. I mean, with the functions. The sink finish is just the absolute godsend of this because you can actually time everything to how you want it. 30 minutes one side, 15 minutes, 20, 10, whatever it may be. And use that sink finish and then you're not having to go, right, I've got to put that on, time it, come back out and do that. It will do everything for you. So yeah, so this is my three month review of the um, television air fryer i'll try and find a link and put it in the description so you can actually um find it i did order this on robert dias um obviously robert dias is not up here in the northwest um obviously i used to live in kent so they used to have one not too far away from me but i will try and find i've got the model number for this again links in the description and anyways that's it from me in this video if you do like the, this kind of thing that you see and obviously i do try and do some tech stuff but not as much as like the appliances but give this a thumbs up if you do like this kind of thing and if you're not subscribed to this channel already do hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you get notified of all of my videos that i upload and i see you a lot again soon